everyone, and welcome to another one of your Southern California real estate podcast. I am your host, Albert Ramos, and today we are going to be talking about a very hot city in Southern California, specifically Menifee, California. We can't start our video without mentioning one of our sponsors, Voltaic Blood. Never dive without it. Make sure you try one. They are delicious. Let's dive right in it. Menifee is one of the fastest growing cities, not only in Southern California, but in America. It was actually named top five faster growing city in California and top 10 faster growing city in the entire United States. Menifee is located in Southern Riverside County and is also part of the Inland Empire. A lot of people like it because Menifee is more affordable than a lot of the other surrounding areas, while also providing a lot of convenience and a lot of amenities. Menifee provides amenities like the Menifee Lakes, Menifee Golf Courses, it provides shopping, provides restaurants, it provides very, very good neighborhoods and schools, and my personal favorites, the outdoors, miles and miles of trails, and including a BMX park. Some of the pros of living in Menifee also include housing that is more affordable than surrounding areas, to include new constructions that are currently being built and will continue to be built over the next few years. This gives you the opportunity for faster equity growth due to new constructions and the media attention that is being brought to Menifee. Another pro of living in Menifee is lower HOAs in most communities compared to surrounding areas like, for example, Marietta and Temecula. My favorite thing is the commuting distance in between the Inland Empire and Northern San Diego County because Menifee allows you to live in commuting distance of these top places yet at an affordable range. What are some of the cons of living in Menifee? Well, in my personal experience, because I am a neighbor of Menifee, so I can literally tell you the cons that I have of living in my home, is the special assessments and the taxes are higher than the surrounding areas. The reason for it is because, yes, Menifee has been named one of the top five growing communities in the entire United States. However, just because everything is being built, who pays for it? The homeowners that live in Menifee. Also, I focus a lot on servicing our service members and first responders, and most of them, specifically the ones that live in Camp Pendleton and Menifee, Menifee is the only place that they can actually afford their monthly payments. So it is a longer commute to our service members that are stationed in Camp Pendleton and MCAS Miramar. And last but not least, it gets hot as heck in Menifee. So ensure that you are ready for the hot summer months and also the hot summer bills. Let's go over a cost breakdown of the medium price home in Menifee, which is $554,000 as of June of 2023. There are four things that we are going to be analyzing. We're gonna be analyzing what's called pity, which is principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. The total principal, interest, taxes, and insurance on a $554,000 home with a 6% current interest rate, it lands you right above $4,000 being $4,004. Now, let's add some of those bills together. Utilities fluctuate, obviously, in between family, and also they fluctuate in between seasons. We have four bills that we have to ensure that we account for whenever we move to Menifee, right? We have to pay, we have to pay for our electricity, which electricity for me, I have what's called a power purchase agreement that I only pay $256 a month. Now, keep in mind, I do have a pool in my house and I also drive an electric car, which I connect into my home every single night. My water bill is only $60 and that is an elevated price because remember, I also have a pool inside my house. Gas, it's $100 and that is an average because it lowers down during the summer months, but then during the, the cold months, it goes as high as $300. So an average will be anywhere from $100 to $150 that you will have to pay for your electric bill. This month, my, my gas bill was only $36. 
And on top of that, you have to pay your trash, which is $88 every quarter, meaning every three months. That gives us a grand total of $446 for your utilities. And when we add everything up, the total payments of living in Menifee add up to $4,450. That is including your mortgage payment and your utility bills. Obviously, there are other things that you need to include in there. However, that is lower, considerably lower than the surrounding areas. One of the other things that I also want to mention, because this is always something that I tell my clients, is the further down south, the closer that you get to San Diego and Camp Pendleton, the smaller and the more expensive things are going to be than if you were to decide to live in Menifee. As the further back that you that you start getting, you'll see that the more affordable and more bigger it gets. Like for example, I paid six hundred thousand dollars for my house, but I have a big pool and I have a big bar backyard. If you try to get something for six hundred thousand dollars, you might get a townhome in Oceanside. If that that. So hopefully that helps you to make your determination if Menifee is the place to live for you. If you are looking to move or if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me at the information that is right here below me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good one.